The Project T1 Phono SB or the Riga Plano One Plus. Two great turntable options from two great brands and each just under the £400 mark. And chances are, if you are looking at a turntable in this price range, then these two will definitely be on your shortlist. Okay. But which one's the better choice for you? Well, today we're putting them head to head to help make that choice a little bit easier for you. Now, we know when it comes to turntables, the options out there really are endless, mm. but we regularly get asked for this comparison and we would say these two are very popular models if you're looking for what we would call a high performance belt driven entry level turntable. Now, full disclaimer, we won't be telling you that one is better than the other. Firstly, because we can't actually agree, but secondly, because we think these both have a place and one will be better suited for some of you and some will prefer the other one. So we've picked our favorites and we'll be arguing their case to hopefully help you guys identify which turntable is right for you. Right Sam, I think let's just get straight into it then. Which one are you backing? Well for me it's got to be the Riga Planner One Plus as I can't see this being topped performance wise. It's probably the closest thing to plug and play that you're going to get from Riga and as a big fan of the brand and all of its heritage I think if I had to make a recommendation for the best place to start for a true vinyl experience this is where you're gonna get your money's worth. All right, fair enough. Well, I'm team project T1 Phono SB, and it's not just because you've taken the Riga, but I know how overwhelming turntables can be when you're getting started, and having been there myself, I think this will tick a lot of boxes for most people. Premium and simplified hi-fi playback with a minimalist design and some neat functionality features. So you can take it straight out of the box and just start listening. Oh, and it's also a little bit cheaper too, so what more could you want? Yeah, but only by six pounds. What are you gonna get with that? Right then, on to design. Do you wanna kick us off with things here, Sam? What's the Planner One Plus got going for it? Well, I'm glad you asked, because if we're talking about looks alone, this one here follows the same heritage as a lot of other Riga turntables, and it really focuses on finding the beauty in less. In typical fashion, the whole design is underpinned on stripping out mass and vibration so you can enjoy a pure vinyl listening experience. Right, so with the P1 Plus, we've got matte black, matte white, mm -hmm. and walnut. It's the same with the Project, Yeah, right? so this comes in exactly the same three color options, but out of the three, which is your favorite? I think the walnut is a personal favorite mm -hmm. of mine. Uh, and then it's also got the signature bit of branding printed in the corner, but otherwise it's very minimalistic in terms of design. Size-wise, I think it's mm -hmm. a little bit bigger than the Project. Yeah, to be, I mean, there's really not too much in it, is there, yeah, to be fair? Yeah, it's not huge and it's not, really going to be a worry unless space is really at a premium in your room. When it comes to the rest of the design, if you're familiar with the original Planner One, the Plus isn't too different at all. You've got the same 23mm acrylic platter, 24 volt synchronous AC motor, RB110 tone arm, and a carbon moving magnet cartridge fitted as standard. Riga thinks this combination works and I've got to give credit where it's due. It does exactly that. So why would you change a winning formula? It's also got a redesigned head shelf for improved usability and some bespoke ultra low friction bearings which helps to reduce vibrations too. Every single component on this deck feels premium and for the price, I really don't think you can go wrong. Well, to be fair, Sam, not to rain on your parade, but if we're talking about premium finishes, then you cannot deny that the project is up there in that department too. Now there's no plastic parts and it follows the same sort of design pattern as the original project debut. So for the price, this one is genuinely hard to beat. Now, you've got a CNC machine chassis available in high gloss black, matte white, and walnut. And according to Project, it's got no hollow spaces in it too, which helps massively to reduce those vibrations when you're listening. Now, you've also got your 8.6 inch one piece aluminum tone arm with an integrated head shell and Autophon OM 5E MM cartridge supplied. The uh, the tone arm cradle looks a bit flimsy though, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, like you could say that, but I've had this for a while now and genuinely never experienced any issues with it Fair whatsoever. Nice. So I think ultimately though, my favorite part of this turntable is actually this glass platter. Now mm. it's instantly impressive, it screams premium, and it isn't something that I'd actually expect to see from a turntable at this price point, but I'm really glad it's there. Now it adds to the liveliness of this turntable and obviously it looks great too. I feel like listening to vinyl should be an experience you can feel. And although the way things sound is massive, just using a turntable that feels a little bit more high end and, and weightier definitely takes things up a notch. Now, I still personally prefer the look of the P1 Plus, and I like the latest matte finish that they added, but that's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, 
What sort of other features have you got then? Well, we did have a few non-negotiables yeah. to abide by when picking our turntable. And the first of those was a built-in phono stage. So that if you got your hands on either of these decks, you wouldn't need an external phono preamplifier. And that means that you can connect them straight into pretty much any hi-fi system with a standard line in input. Now, both are pretty similar in this department and are high spec, but the only thing I would say though, is the T1 Phono SB's Phono stage is actually switchable, so you can turn that on or off. Now, that means you've got some more flexibility to add your own preamp later down the line to improve performance, which is a little plus for me, and a little more than can be said for the Planner One Plus. I mean, yeah. If you're looking to upgrade over time, then out of these two, you've only got that option with a T1. Mm -hmm. yep. But this Riga really is a deck that is purely plug and play. And if I wanted the option of upgrading the preamp, I would have just gone for the plan of one. This table is for buyers who just want to listen to good quality hi-fi straight out of the box. Yeah, no, to be fair, don't get me wrong, I do agree with that. But one thing that I think definitely works in my favor has got to be the built-in electronic speed controls. I knew this was coming. Now, the thing is, you say that the Planner One Plus is all about making things simple, then why can't I simply switch between 33 and 45 RPM at the flick of a switch? Now, I know it's not something that's standard at this sort of price point, but if I wanted to get up and running quickly and switch between the two speeds a lot, then surely this is the better option. Yeah, you're probably right on that one. And maybe for the complete beginner, it does make things more difficult, but with the Riga, less is more, and the more hands-on approach really helps to make it feel like a more true vinyl experience, which by my book is never a bad thing. Now, admittedly, it might not be for everyone, but I think if you're a bit more of a purist, then this is something that you might not want anyway. So we've covered all these specs, but how do these two actually sound then? Now, as always, we've tested these turntables in a variety of different setups with plenty of different vinyls, but for under 400 pounds, we've got to be realistic with our expectations. Yeah. You can go out and spend more money for sure, but for high level brand entry level turntables, they've got some seriously impressive reputations. So it'll be interesting to really see if either one can outdo the other. Obviously, you can also make slight improvements to the both of them by swapping out the cartridges and those kind of things. But the beauty of these two is that they're really designed to be greater than a sum of their parts. And I guess we wanted to judge and compare them as a whole. Now, sadly, we don't have any copyright free records to demo this for you guys. So we'll share our findings from our testing. Now, of course, the rest of your setup will alter the performance you get. But for reference, we've tested these connected with a traditional setup and part of an active setup. So what are your thoughts then, Sam, on the Riga Planner One Plus? Well, if I'm being honest, the only way I can describe it is brilliant. <laughs> now, it's easy <laughs> to be enough. skeptical when you're seeing reviewers like what Hi-Fi say and Riga have struck gold with this one, mm. but I personally love the sound experience that this turntable offers. Riga have got a real habit for creating turntables that are agile, subtle, and impressively dynamic, and they've really hit the nail on the head with this one for sure. Obviously, you could get more out of one of Riga's more premium decks, but for just yep. under £400, I think you're going to struggle to find something that's quite as crisp and clean with equally as impressive detailing. The Planner One Plus delivers such a spacious presentation of sound too, and the effortless separation between instruments and vocals is something I genuinely can't see being matched by the T1 <laughs> Phono SB. I think, as I mentioned earlier, Riga have done a great job at stripping away all the excess and creating a deck that is a perfect blend of high performance and beautiful simplicity that stays true to their British vinyl heritage. I mean, yeah, fair play. You are selling it for me, but... I listened to the P1 Plus 2 and I do agree that it does offer good details and it is a nice performance, but for me, the project does edge it. If you want an overall review on performance, actually tell you what, put it this way. I've played loads of different tracks and genres and I honestly think you're gonna to struggle to find something that can really unsettle it. It gives a really enjoyable performance and pulls a lot of detail off the record. I love the ease of switching between the speeds and I've been able to swap between my collection really simply. There's no sign of any unwanted hum or noise and music felt lively and energetic. To be completely honest with you, it's just a great turntable for this price point, and I think it feels like a more expensive model. Look, I do not think we're gonna to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I mean, like we said at the start, we can't agree on a winner, but I think that's the whole point, right? Both of these offer a great performance, but with turntables, there's a lot more personal preference yeah. to play. I mean, to be fair, turntables are a piece of furniture on your home now, aren't they? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I think for me, this Planner One Plus is for those of you looking for a personal experience and would enjoy the collective feeling that the Riga Heritage gives you. Mm -hmm. The minimalist approach, the simplicity, and the slightly more hands-on approach, yeah. uh, that's what wins my vote. 
I think this T1 Phono SB will be for those of you who listen to a blend of different speeds, like the aesthetic of the glass platter and the option to switch out the Phono stage. Other than those points, it really does come down to personal preferences. Yeah. So we'd love to hear which side of the table are you putting yourself? Yeah, are you siding with me or are you backing Louis' choice over here? Make sure you guys let us know down in the comments. Hopefully that's helped. And of course, we'll make sure we link both turntables in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.